let's just go for auto sequence start. 25. Just a few seconds, thousands of gallons of water will be dumped on the launch pad to help suppress the sound. 15. Minus 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery on a bold new era of space flight between the United States and Russia. Houston, Discovery, and roll. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is underway. Avoid the orbiter. Discovery is now in a head down position on course for 57 degree, 190 nautical mile orbit. Three engines aboard uh, Discovery now throttling down as the orbiter prepares to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Discovery's already traveling 1,000 miles per hour and at an altitude of about 33,000 feet. Downrange from the launch site now four nautical miles. Discovery, go at throttle up. Roger, Houston, go at throttle up, sir. All three engines have now throttled back up to full throttle. That is 104% of rated thrust. Discovery is downrange from the launch site, 10 nautical miles now. Traveling 2,700 feet per second, or about 2,000 miles per hour. Altitude now 88,000 feet. Approaching two minutes into the flight, this is the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. SRB separation is confirmed. 5,500 feet. Three thousand feet. Main gear touchdown. Drag chutes deployed. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out after the first United States Russian cooperative space flight. Prekrasna i dobro pozdravljate, Sergey. You've paved the way for a new era of cooperation in human spaceflight, leading to our international space station. Great job.